So one of the main advantages to having an air frying oven, and probably the reason I love it so much, is because you can do your whole meal at one time in the same device, and it works really well, and it's convenient. And like today, we're about to do bacon cheeseburgers and french fries all at the same time in the Ninja Foodie XL Pro air frying oven, and uh, I think you're going to be impressed. I'm John Sanders. I'm also known as Jelly007, but let's uh, air fry these bacon cheeseburgers and those french fries all at the same time. Okay, so if you've watched my channel, you, you know I, I kind of like uh, this method of making my own hamburger. And I think it makes for a better burger, but by all means, if you have your own method, <laughs> that's what you should use. But here's what I do. I buy these chubs, and when I can get them like this, I get them at Sam's or even Ingles, but I, I cut them like that right there. Now, that's all I'm going to do to that burger. I'm not going to work it. I think it uh, the more you work it, the mushier it gets. You lose that grain, and I think you can taste or you can tell that grain is there when you're eating it. Uh, I think it just works out better. Now, that's a 6.8 ounce burger, so you can do the math on that, but that's, a, that's what we'll be cooking today. And I'm, going, I'm only going to cook two burgers, just me and baby doll today. And I'm going to uh, do the same thing with hers, and it's... It's as simple as that right there. Not only is it real simple, it makes for a really good hamburger. Now, I'm going to work these out a little bit. I'm going to make them look a little bit more smooth on the edges, trim out the edges a little bit, and I'm going to press it down in the middle some to where, where it won't kind of ball up as it cooks. But let's just see what we got hers at. Hers is about an ounce less than mine. So <laughs> now you know, that's the two burgers we're cooking, and uh, I'm about to get everything going in here and get get this on the, on my uh, roasting rack along with that bacon. I'll show you that in just a second. All right, we are pretty much ready to go. Now, I will say something. You can get more bacon and you could you could do more burgers, but another method is to put the bacon down here. And I've done that on a couple of occasions. Just make sure you don't put your hamburgers directly over them because the, there's like a fat that drips on that you probably wouldn't want on your bacon, but quite honestly, it doesn't hurt, and you can get a lot of bacon down there. That, that's my point. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, set it up first. We're going to set it to air fry. That's what I just about do everything here. I'm going to do uh, two level, and it wants rack four and two. Now, here's the French fries. I'm fixing to show you a little bit about them because I love these. These are the best French fries I've ever air fried, and it's not its not even close. It is really, they are that much better. But I'll explain that in just a second. We're going on rack four and rack two. And to explain this right quick is, you know, I always use, if you watch my channel, I usually use golden crinkles, and, and these are a little bit different. They are, they are golden crispers. And I just ran across them the other day. I'm not sure if it's been out on the market a while and I just didn't know about them, but man, they work excellent in an air fryer. They're made, evidently, for the oven because there's no other instruction that I could find on how to cook them. Well... This works. It, they they make an excellent French fry. Uh, I'm going to leave it at 15 minutes, 400 degrees, and we're just going to keep an eye on it. And uh, I'm obviously going to have to shake those fries every once in a while and turn the burger. But we're on air fry, two-level cooking, 15 minutes, 400 degrees. I'm not going to preheat. I, I rarely ever do. It only takes this oven 90 seconds, and it really doesn't get to that temp anyhow. And it's just kind of wasted time, if you ask me. <laughs> I can have them in there, and they are off and running. Okay, so I'm going to shake these fries just a little bit because we're kind of at the five-minute mark. And you can see, and I will end up pulling those fries out a little early, but I'm going to show you why. I think, honestly, as strange as it sounds, uh, they, they work a little better. But we'll, I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, here we are. The first 15 minutes is done. Now, I've been shaking those fries along the way about every five minutes. Um, and then this right here, we're, we're going to take those out. First thing I'm going to do, though, is show you these. And what these do, and the reason I do this, it just seems to make them a lot crispier. I mean, they're ready to eat right now. I assure you, they are perfect. But once you let them cool a little while on this rack, and then after we finish cooking these burgers... You'll see what I mean. They get real, they, uh, 
uh, they get super crispy. And I'm going to move this rack to number three anyhow, but we got to flip those burgers. <laughs> and I did that a little bit wrong. But, all right, I'm going to uh, bring this out, set it right here. Assuming you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to burn that bottle with that hot thing. I'm just going to flip the burgers. I believe they're ready. They'll be fine. So I'm going to flip the burgers over. I'm going to spin this tray around. And I'm going to go the opposite direction with it, just, just because. Now we're going to add, well, I'll just do the same thing we had. It'll come, it'll be in memory, so it's already 15 minutes, 400 degrees. We're off and running. We'll be watching with the thermopin now. I'll start checking temps on those burgers in a few minutes. Okay, so we just crossed the, the next five minutes, which makes a total of 20 minutes. We're going to get a reading on this burger. And it is 150 at 20 minutes, so we're going to, that back one's really close to being done, but we're going to let them go a few more minutes. I'll be back. Okay, we're coming up on about 22 minutes of cook time, of total cook time. The first 15, and then you add these seven minutes, and uh, I'm going to call them done. I checked them, and like I said, they were like 150. You can see the bacon looks fine, but what I'm going to do, and before I do that, I'm going to let you hear these right here because they're fine right now and quite honestly they're still warm and you can serve them but i don't know if you can hear that but take my word there is nothing wrong with those french fries they are the best i've ever air fried now i'm gonna let the temp bring back on them just a little bit while i get my burgers ready so i'll be back all right, I, I went ahead and turned that back off because I want to get these ready, and, and I didn't think about that when I stuck those in there because they're going to stay warm in there anyhow. And like I said, they're ready to eat right now, but this way I can reheat them. But right now what I want to do is get some cheese on here and uh, probably could have done that while they were in the oven. But, well, one thing I will say, I'm using a medium cheddar. And one thing about medium cheddar, well, the milder the cheddar, the easier it melts. And uh, a sharp cheddar doesn't melt as good as a medium. So you can see the bacon right here, though. It turned out really well. It'll be perfect for those burgers. And uh, that's exactly what I'm looking for is a uh, good bacon for a cheeseburger. And I'm about to get uh, my mayonnaise and mustard and whatever you want. By the way, I love this right here. If you like sweet things on your hamburger and you like heat, this might be the best things I've ever tried. They're It's jalapeno peppers, but they're in a sweet uh, sauce. So I'm going to do one with them and one with the pickles. I like I like them both. So, And, of course, I've got pimento cheese here. You can put that on your burger. I don't know why I'm going to that. You know what you can put on your burger. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm about to get this started and get that burger put those burgers put together, and we're going to make a plate. Okay, right there is mine and baby doll's lunch. <laughs> I'm going to eat the ones with the sweet heat on them. I'm going to tell you, that it's, you know, I don't normally like sweet things on my hamburgers, but those work. I'll just say it like that. I've got the uh, Clausen's on hers. The French fries. They are, and all I did was I put them back in here, let them go about 30 seconds. I left them in there to stay warm, and then I hit them for about 30 seconds, and... I'm not positive you can hear that, but I can tell you this. They are, well, to me, they're the best fry I've ever put in an air fryer. And, uh, again, I'm not sponsored. People at Orada do not know who I am. Uh, but anyhow, they got a real good French fry, I'll tell you that. The uh, hamburgers, well, I said I was going to eat this one, so I will. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Mm-hmm. That's perfect. That's exactly how I want a hamburger, and that's a one, 150, 155. But I am, I've got my mouth full now. <laughs> Should have thought about that. Those uh, sweet heat jalapenos work excellent. Anyhow, I didn't put any uh, pimento cheese on it today, but, it, you know, I got to tell you, it works great. Hey, I love y'all. If you can hit me with a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Y'all have a good day. Come back to see me and love y'all all. <laughs> Bye.